Hello, my wonderful family. You've become like a family to me now. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. I appreciate it. I do not take you for granted. I just wanted to come in and share a little tidbit of my new book, which just hit Amazon, and I'd appreciate it if you go out and support me. Also, if you are Christian parents and you are looking for the just perfect book to explain what baptism is, see it demonstrated by my two characters in, within the book, this is the ideal book for you. And it's called, What Does Baptize Mean, Savannah? So I'm going to share a bit and then you go to Amazon.com and you get your book to see the rest. Okay? All right. What does baptize mean, Savannah? Savannah and Anita are good friends. They attend the same school and are in the third grade together. Savannah shares a lot of things with Anita. They both share their different devices, unique stories, and snacks. Savannah and Anita even share some of the same interests. They both love reading and exchanging their various books with each other. They enjoy making beaded bracelets and necklaces, and they both have Christian parents. Savannah would always talk about the Bible or church events with Anita. Anita enjoys listening to Savannah and making her, sorry, and asking her many questions. One Monday, Savannah was eating lunch in the school cafeteria with Anita as it was raining cats and dogs outside. They unfortunately could not go outdoors after finishing their lunch. Savannah had two chicken salad sandwiches cut into four medium-sized triangles accompanied by a fancy red-rimmed transparent bottle filled with coconut water and mixed with pineapple juice. Anita had ravioli in her purple flask that kept her lunches nice and warm. She also had a strawberry flavored lemonade in a regular store-bought bottle. Sometimes they would sample each other's lunches and compare notes. After Anita asked if she could sample one of Savannah's chicken salad sandwiches, Savannah quickly gave her one and told Anita that she did not really like ravioli that much so she will pass on sampling her lunch. Anita responded, Okie dokie, more for me, and she laughed. <laughs> Savannah laughed too, and said she had oranges and a trail mix pack for snack. They began excitedly sharing about the diverse types of foods and snacks they enjoyed and did not enjoy since their recess and after lunch outdoor activities were now canceled due to the heavy rain. As Savannah began to reminisce aloud about her weekend activities with Anita, she began to share what had happened at Sunday school. You should go to Amazon, check it on out, and you will get much more of the story there. So do enjoy, support, share, like, and let me know what you think about the book. Thank you so much.